Hey, Kids Church. Anna's here to help me today with the lesson. Hope you guys are having a good week. Today we are recording outside before it starts raining so we can get our fresh air and our sunshine every day while we're being stuck at home. All right, today for Kids Church, the first thing I did was I asked Anna and Camden to help me by making a list of all of the rules that they have to follow. And look how long this list is. That is a lot of rules. And that's not even all the rules. Their hands got tired, so we gave up. Let's see what some of these rules say. Can you tell us what some of the rules say that she wrote down? Um, don't be rude. Listen when others are talking. Don't run in the hall. Don't hurt any living thing. Be kind. I liked this one that y'all came up with. Oh, don't pick the blue bonnets. Don't pick the blue bonnets. <laughs> so we all have a lot of rules that we have to follow. You have rules it's at your house so that you have to follow. You have like, like put your dishes in the sink. Oop, go get that. You have rules at your school that you have to follow. And then there's just rules that all people have to follow to be respectful and to be kind and to be good members of our society. Well, today we're gonna talk about rules. So I'm gonna read a lesson to you guys from our story Bible called The Greatest Commandment. All right, can you guys see the picture? Yeah, I can. All right, these are the Pharisees. Now, if you guys remember, the Pharisees were the, the leaders, basically the leaders of the church. Um, and here's Jesus right here. So we're gonna read a story about Jesus and the Pharisees. The Pharisees were a group of people who had lots and lots of laws. Altogether, they had more than 600. Yes. That is a lot of rules to follow. That's a lot more than the rules that we had. One day, one of the Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, what's the greatest law? He didn't think Jesus could possibly pick just one out of so many. He was trying to trick Jesus. But Jesus knew the man was trying to trick him. He looked at the man and smiled. Love God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Jesus said, this is the greatest of all the commandments. But there's another really important one too. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you obey these two laws, then you obey all of the laws. Look at that. <laughs> Says the Pharisees jaws dropped to the floor. They were shocked to know just how smart Jesus was. They were surprised. Jesus had answered their question and turned their trick around on them. They didn't know what to say. I think that's a great story. So if you think about that, we all have a lot of rules that we have to follow. And Jesus said, at the end of the day, if you do two things, if you follow two laws, you're gonna be doing all of those things. That is so many. So he says, love God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Now, I was thinking about this idea of loving God with all of your heart and all of your soul and all of your mind. If you were to bake a batch of cookies and you left out the sugar, how would those cookies taste? <laughs> Or let's say you put the sugar in, but you left out the butter. They'd probably be pretty dry and crumbly, right? Uh, maybe. So you have to know. put all of the ingredients into the cookies in order to make a really good cookie. And just mm -hmm. like that, God wants all of you. He doesn't want just part of you. He wants all of you for you to love him with everything that you have and to love your neighbors. We've been trying to think of creative ways to love our neighbors. Mm -hmm. um, yesterday, the kids got sidewalk chalk and they wrote uh, nice messages and oh, drew yeah, pretty yeah. pictures on the sidewalk so that when our neighbors are going for a walk, they can see some encouraging things. Since we can't hang out with our neighbors right now, there's things like that we can do to love our neighbors. Um, or I've been making phone calls and doing FaceTime messages with my neighbors to talk to them and to keep in touch with them since we can't have them over for dinner or have them over for play dates. So it's fun to think of creative ways that we can love each other even when we can't be together. So I'm going to post a worksheet that you can do with your family at home. And Anna's going to show some examples. She did the worksheet herself. So on this worksheet, there's two stick figures or gingerbread men. 
and you can use your imagination and get creative and think of ways that you can use your whole self to love God and to love other people. So Anna, what were some examples that you came up with? I did listen by your ears. Like worship. listen, like listening to what like, God says maybe yeah. and listening to what other people say? Yeah. Okay, what else? Um, for love God, I did worship. With um, your mouth? Yeah. Like you could sing worship and, songs with yeah. your mouth? And then on Love Your Neighbor, I did call with the mouth. Like call a friend on the phone? Um, for feet, I did the play date and then church. So she was thinking about places her feet could take her. Her feet could take her mm -hmm. to church or her feet could take and, her to a play date. And then for the arms, I did hug. You did hug. Now, do you know what I love about that? You did hug on both of them. We can't give God a physical <laughs> hug, can we? But you know, when we're giving other people hugs, when we're loving our neighbor, we're really loving God too, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put this so you guys can work on this at home. But I just want to encourage you guys to think about ways that you can love God well this week, that you can love your neighbors well this week. And your neighbors includes your parents. It includes your brothers and your sisters. What are some ways that you can love them? Um, but yeah, we miss you guys. Let me pray for y'all. And then we will see you again next week. Bye. <laughs> Do you want to pray for us? Do you want to close us in prayer? Sure. Okay. Go ahead. Sure, I'll do it. <laughs> Dear God, we thank you so much that you love us unconditionally, that you love us bigger than we can ever imagine or understand. God, I pray that when we get overwhelmed with all of the things that we have to do, that you would help us remember that you ask us to love you with all of our heart, with all of our mind, with all of our soul, and God, that you would help us to love our neighbors well. God be with us today, and we thank you so much for your love. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, everybody, we'll Bye. see you next time.